Uh, you cannot pick the right word for what you want to convey. For one word, there may be 15 different options available in the thesaurus, in the dictionary. But just to convey the right kind of argument to another mind, you have to pick the precise word which fits. So this is what I wanted to convey, what Lord Denning had told us. So maybe uh, 40 years down the lane, you will be conveying it to some others. Well, that's good work. Now that you are entering the legal profession, when I was young, our elders used to say that such and such is very good with words, he speaks so much, he'll become a lawyer. He will become a lawyer. But when I came to the profession, I thought that that was not correct. My experience as a judge was, and even as a lawyer also, that all you need is hard work. You have to prepare your case well in your own chamber. And if you have a sound argument, or through your hard work you have found the exact ruling on the point, you don't even have to argue the case. You just have to present the book before the judge, and you'll win the case. So you don't really have to be very articulate if you have worked very hard. Articulation is an added advantage. But the first thing is, you, you have to have command over your facts, you have to have command over the legal provisions, and you have to convey it. And that hard work, if conveyed, will do the trick. Don't worry, you'll win the case. You don't have to be a good speaker all the time. Then, another thing that I wanted to convey to you, the young lawyers in the making now, is that previously, a lawyer was just to look at the law, make his arguments, find out in his library the relevant precedent cases, and to argue his cases. But now, when you are entering the profession in this day and age, a lawyer has to be a much more well-rounded personality. If you go to a court of law today, it not just, it's not just one statute that you are dealing with. Unfortunately or fortunately, in this country, every social issue, every economic issue, every political issue, ultimately ends up in a court of law. So unless you are a well-rounded personality, if, unless you have your knowledge about different uh, disciplines in the society, is also up to the mark. It may be difficult for you to really understand the scope of the arguments that you have to build before a court of law. So try not just to remain within the legal field, also read books from other disciplines. Keep yourself informed through newspapers and magazines and journals and books. All other disciplines, you must have at least a bare minimum knowledge of all these disciplines. The last thing that I want to say here is that today you have become a lawyer. You have a degree in your hand. Tomorrow you have to go to a court of law. But I can assure you that when you go to a court of law or a chamber of a senior lawyer, the clerk in that chamber, the munshi, will be knowing much more about the practicalities in that profession, the practicalities involved in that profession. He will tell you how to file a bail application. He'll tell you how the cases are fixed, how the applications are drafted, how appeals are drafted, and what things are to be placed where in the entire legal system. So my emphasis throughout has been to law colleges that kindly, while you are making them lawyers, also groom them for lawyering. They have become advocates, but to be a lawyer you know you want, to have, you want to have adequate knowledge of what goes on in a court of law. So whenever you get an opportunity, do, sir, uh, introduce courses of grooming lawyers. And that is why I, at some stages I've been suggesting 
that after you get a degree or you are about to get a degree, like a doctor has to undergo a house job, there should be a house job for a law, uh, a law student as well before he can get a degree. So he can combine his academic knowledge with the practical knowledge. Thank you very much, Professor Obayo san. I was very reluctant to accept any invitation, but this was an invitation that I could not refuse. It's my own institution. I have such a long association with Dr. Professor Umayyo Hassan. My students are members of the faculty here. I couldn't say no. And thank you very much for honoring me by inviting me. Thank you. Chief Justice of Pakistan Justice Asif Saeed Khosa Lahore mein taqreeb se khitab kar rahe the unhone ne kaha ki kisi bhi moshre mein wukala ka rutba misali hota hai wakil moshre ke mehroom tabke ke liye qanuni jang ladta hai